Thank you for visiting Mr. Shoe Guy here on YouTube. It's Robert, Mr. Shoe Guy. Today's video is on tips for success in the Goodwills and Salvation Armies. Um, just a couple tips on how to um, get some of the best deals that you can when you go to those retail donation outlet stores. Um, these places sometimes are priced at a point where you can make money and sometimes they're priced at a point where you can't make money. So that's probably the first tip is to understand situations that are a little unhustleable. If you walk in the store and you see something that looks like it should be on eBay and it's priced like it is, you might want to walk away. Um, you want to really consider, is this priced at a point where I can make money? And the best way that you can understand whether you're priced at a point where you can make money is to do your basic research. You need to have a sense of the type of items that you generally have expertise in and the type of items that you generally like selling. Based off of that, you will know, um, you know the, the ranges that you can expect for any given uh, um, category of items. So if you're really good with bikes, you know, do your research on bikes before you go into the Goodwill. So that way when you go into Goodwill and you see a bike for $300, you'll know whether that's priced well or whether that's priced like on eBay. Or it's priced, um, you know, like at Sears or Target. So, you know, based off of my experience, and I'm not a bike expert, I know that $300 is way high for any bike that you're going to find in Goodwill. Even if it is priced at $300, the profit margins are n almost never are such that I can make money on that item. But if I found that same bike for $30, that's a good buy. Could be a good buy. I won't say it, gen I won't say it is for sure, because it might be a, you know, a serious brand bike that's not worth anything. But the point of the matter is, when I see something at $300 versus $30, I have a sense of what the situation looks like. and based off my research, I will know should I make should I be able to make money at that price. Now if I bought a bike for three dollars, I'm definitely gonna make money. So there you got three, thirty, and three hundred. You kinda you need a, you need a sense of what the market's gonna bear based off of your research. The same um, example of the bike can be applicable uh, can, shows the concept that can be applicable to shoes. It can be applicable to um, cameras, it can be applicable to um, you know, lawn ornaments. It doesn't really make a difference, but you need to base your um, you need to you need to really do some research and then base your decision making off of that research. You really can't just go into Goodwill or Salvation Army and think you're just gonna you know buy everything you see because you'll be wasting a lot of money. So specifically when it comes to a pair of shoes, because I know this is Mr. Shoe Guy and a lot of people are interested in footwear and boots and sandals and sneakers, you know, generally speaking, you need to have a specific range that you are going to spend in. You need to have a budget, basically. So when you go on a Goodwill, you really, really need a budget. You need a budget all the time, um, whether you're at, Good, at Goodwill or Salvation Armies or you're surfing on Craigslist for stuff to buy, or you're on eBay, or you're at yard sales. It doesn't make a difference, but especially because the prices are higher at these retail stores, you really need a budget or you'll go broke pretty fast with your reselling business. So you need a budget, and you need to have a sense based off of your research, again, um, not only what stuff is selling for, but where it is selling, where can you buy it? put forth as little money as possible and make the biggest profit margin. You also need to consider that there are some instances where you won't be able to get it for lower than XYZ price, but that's the best price that you can get it at, so that's still a win because the, prof the profit margin is still up here. So at a yard sale, again, the prices are much more flexible, negotiable. You might find something for 40 bucks, but then you actually get it for $5 because you negotiate it with the seller. At a Goodwill, it's not very possible. Um, it's not always possible. It's seldom, seldomly possible. Um, but 
There are other tips that you can use, which I'll get to next, um, that will still help you secure good deals when you go to these retail stores. So the next tip would actually be go on um, percentage off days. There are days at these retail stores, just about every single one, you just have to know when. Um, there are days when you can actually get a large percentage off off of what you would have normally paid. So if you maybe go on a Monday or a Wednesday, and it may be different in your area, it doesn't make a difference, but it may be different in your area. If you go on one of those normal days, you're going to spend full price. You're going to pay 100% of what you would have already always paid. So if that was, you know, $10 for a pair of shoes, you're going to pay that. But if you go on, you know, uh, a discount day, there could be anywhere from a 10% to a 25%, 50% sale, and you actually get that for half off or 25% off or, you know, whatever. If you're just buying one item, you probably won't see that big of a discount. But as your reselling business grows larger and larger, that discount's going to mean more to you. And over the course of a year, as prices rise, um, you know, which they're going to do, to see the bigger discounts over time, it's going to save you money and it's going to make your business more profitable. So it's really worth going on days where you can really uh, get a good percentage off. Next tip, um, in my particular area, um, and this is really has to do with relationships, um, in my particular area, they actually have at Goodwill's senior discount day. So on Tuesdays, they uh, I believe it's like 30 or 40 percent. It's a huge percentage off, but it's all tied around the fact that you have to have a senior with you, um, or you know, really, you need to be a senior to get the discount. I'm not a senior, but I still sometimes get the discount because I've made relationships and developed relationships and cultivated relationships with those seniors who are at my um, who are at my Goodwill. And I didn't do it purposefully, although I do know some people who, you know, only made friends with those people just so that they could get the discount. Um, but over time, if you're just a naturally sociable person, you get to know people, you talk to them, ask them what they like, you know, just have conversations with them, you know, oftentimes they're willing to extend the discount. Now, the senior discount may not be available in your area, um, but it is available in my area. And it's really just, I just wanted to kind of mention it because that's an example of, you know, business transcending, uh, relationships kind of transcending business. So it's very important in business that you do maintain relationships with those around you, whether you're, it's your, you know, your customers that eventually become long-term clients of yours, or it's, you know, fellow resellers that can help you out. Um, the employees that, you know, work at your Goodwill. I've highlighted relationships in other, bit, in other videos, but I just wanted to um, mention it again. So that would be, you know, the third tip. I mean, if you can utilize relationships to get lower prices on items, yes, that's, that's, that, that, that will help you in your business. So those are some of the, the big tips that I can really think of off the top of my head when it comes to Goodwill, Salvation Army, those type of retail donation outlet stores um, because the prices are rising. And based off of the rising prices, you know, these us resellers, we really need to come up with creative ways to spend less money um, per item and see higher profits because if we don't, that really is something that can impact our business in a negative way. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I made this video to share a couple tips that might help you with your reselling businesses. So um, thanks for watching this video. It's Mr. Shugai here on YouTube. Y'all take care. Have a great day.